Hey guys, I hope you're do you're doing well. Um, yesterday, Stephen Furtick, the pastor of Elevation Church, had a powerful sermon. It was called "Too Grown to Give Up," and he talked about maturing in Christ and that we are that we are supposed to grow from milk to meat and. But there was one thing that he said um, that was so powerful to me. He said that we often, we often say that we are, um, that we encourage uh, forgiveness of sin, but we don't, but we don't, no freedom from sin like we we teach forgiveness of sin or from sin but we don't teach freedom from sin he's like you, you can get forgiven but not get free you could get forgiven but keep on going back and have to get uh re-forgiven again um and when he said that yesterday, um, my spirit just leapt, and and a few minutes ago, uh, on the sermon's YouTube page, um, because they post their sermons every Sunday evening, every Sunday in the daytime, actually. So underneath that, because I thought, and I thought about, um, forgiveness versus freedom. So the Lord gave me this to post on their sermon's YouTube page. And when I was done writing it and posting it this afternoon, the Lord said, you're not done yet. I want you to read it on your Facebook page. And I said, Lord, can I just post it? He said, no. Nope. I want you to read it. So here I am. Um, I'm I'm going to read what I wrote for in response to to grown to give up um, on Ele Elevation's YouTube page, and I I call this um, forgiveness versus freedom. I hope you enjoy this, guys. Give me just a second to get it up. It's already up. I just need to get it visible. So give me a second to do that. It starts as this. As, as I was watching yesterday's sermon, I began to think about forgiveness versus freedom. Um, I'm no expert by any means, but here's what I've learned 
in my own journey. Forgiveness from the Lord is automatic, while freedom is a process. The Lord's forgiveness only takes an, an acknowledgement of one's sin and the ask the asking of a question will you forgive me freedom however is most often a pro a process of successes triumphs mistakes and failures the problem oh no freedom often takes work and an understanding of what the root of the problem and no and understanding the root of the problem and really dealing with what's going on under the mask the reason why true freedom is so difficult is because it takes going to places that we don't like to go to as people. It takes digging through the, the dirty and, na and nasty aspects of our lives, the st stuff that we don't want people to see or know about the stuff that we push under the rug and pretend it's not there until the issue bleeds into our into the relationships with those we love and causes all kinds of mess that we have to spend time cleaning up. Taking a good look at yourself is not an easy thing to do at all. Examining the deep wounds, okay, examining your deep wounds can be truly painful, but after you go down to the bottom of who you are and clean out the clutter of your life and deal with those those issues with a pastor a professional slash counselor or even just with a friend or small group on the other side of that pain, hurt, suffering, is joy, peace, and love. Not to mention more satisfying relationships with God
your family, friends, but especially yourself. Freedom, freedom is possible. The last thing I have to say is that you're strong enough at whatever age and stage you are to go through it and come out the other side. You will survive and thrive in your life. That's the end of what I wrote. It, it, it is so powerful what the Lord said. And I just had to share it with you guys. So I will see you. I will see you Sunday. Um, between about 8.15 and 8.30. I may come on um, before that. Um, later, later this week or something, but I had to come and share this with you guys because it was, it's so powerful. I had to share it. So I hope that ministered to you and I, and I pray that you have a wonderful day and I pray that you have, uh, the courage to um to strive for real real freedom in your life not just uh forgive forgiveness or uh repression of sin because the lord wants you to have life and have it more abundantly and he craves for you to have life and have it more abundantly. And as I said in the thing, in my little excerpt there, freedom is possible. It is possible. You don't have to live um, like you've been living. You just have to reach out and say, I need help. And there are people there to help you. Um, take care. Thanks for listening. Bye. I'm gonna wait on you. I'm gonna wait on you.
I'm 